Hi. Now, in this video, we've got to integrate x times cosine 3 of x, and it's all integrated with respect to x. So, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, either fast forward to check your answer, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, as I said earlier, you might want to fast forward just to check your answer. Otherwise, I'm going to just go through it fairly slowly. So, what we've got here is a typical question which involves integration by parts, where we've got a product of two parts. And these parts are basically different kinds of functions. Here we've got a trigonometric function. And here we've just got it being multiplied by something else completely, not a trigonometric function. Here, in this case, it's x. So this kind of example, as I say, lends itself to integration by parts. Now, if you're not familiar with integration by parts, then this is the formula that we use. And you'll also find in the description below this video, I've got links to tutorials on this. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got the integral of one part, which we call u, and it's multiplied by the other part, which we call dv by dx, and it's all integrated with respect to x. And what we get as a result, which I'm just giving to you without proof, is it's equal to uv minus the integral of v du by dx, and that's all integrated with respect to x. Okay? So, when it comes to doing a problem like this, what we do is we let u equal the x, okay? And we let dv by dx be the trigonometric part in this case. So, I'm going to just write that in there as dv by dx. One of your first problems with doing integrals like this is determining which part you use as u and which part you take as dv by dx. The secret generally is that if you've got x or x squared or x cubed here, you would let u be that part, okay? Because when you get down this end, you're going to need to differentiate that part. And what happens is it creates an easier integral for you, okay? And the best way of seeing this is to experiment, okay? So, you might want to go back and put dv by dx equal to the x and u equal to the cosine 3x, and you'll find that what happens is that this integral down here becomes very complicated. So, by making u the subject here, check it out, it makes this end here easy, okay? Well, I'm going to show you this anyway, how it works. So we've got u as x, okay? We need to find du dx, so if you differentiate u with respect to x, okay, then you're going to get 1. And we need dv by dx, we see it's cosine 3x, so if I write that in, dv dx is cosine 3x. And to get back v, we need to integrate cosine 3x with respect to x. And should be familiar with the integral of cos 3x with respect to x, it's going to be 1 third sine 3x. So that's the v value, okay? So we just need to pop these values into our formula here. Okay, so when it comes to the first part, u times v, it becomes this part times the integral of this part. Okay, that's what uv is. And so you've got this result. u is x times the integral of the other part, which is the v. Okay, one third sine 3x. Now we come on to this next part here, which is minus the integral of v. That's the part that we just integrated, this bracket here. And it's going to be multiplied by the differential of u, this part here. 
Okay, so let's just start it off. We've got minus the integral v. Okay, so that's going to be the integral of this part here. Okay, that was our v. And it's times the differential of the first part, u, with respect to x. And that, we saw, was 1. Okay, now notice how we've got a much simpler integral here. Okay, it does only involve one trigonometric function, not a mixture like we would have had here. So what I want to do is just tidy this up, and you'll notice that I've called this a third x. You could write it as x over 3 if you wish, sine 3x. And here I've just pulled out the constant in front of the integral. You don't have to do that, but it's always a good technique to do. Okay? And so we've got this simple integral, the integral of sine 3x, which we should be able to do now. Okay? The integral of sine 3x is going to be minus one third cosine 3x. Okay? So all I need to do now is just tidy this term up. So minus a third times minus a third is going to be plus one ninth. And if you do that, you're going to get this result here. Okay? Don't forget your constant of integration, plus c. Now, this answer is acceptable, but you might want to take it further. You might want to clean it up. Okay? So, if you're doing something like this, I would want to have just one fraction, say. So, I would look for the lowest common multiple of 3 and 9. And that's got to be 9. Okay? So, I would pull out one ninth out the front of a bracket and I've got one fraction now so a third is the same as three ninths which is what you're going to get here if you expand this okay and we've got just the one ninth cos 3x here which we'll get when we do one ninth times the cos 3x here okay so I prefer this kind of version above this one but I leave it up to you okay so there we go a typical example involving integration by parts. So I hope you're able to see your way through that if it caused any problems. Well done though if you got it right. So as usual thanks for watching. I hope you'll like this and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hopefully see you in another video. Okay bye for now.